1542 is a very special year for the Emperor Jiajing. In the following 25 years, Jiajing lived outside Forbidden City and attended the court only three times. In 1567, Jiajing was dying because in the Ming Dynasty, the emperor must die in the Forbidden City. So Jiajing had to come back to the Qianqing Palace and died in there. In 1542, Jiajing was 36 years old. He had the most imperial women in the Ming dynasties. When Jiajing was 60 years old, he still married a 16 years old girl as consort. Jiajing totally had 13 kids, but none of them were born after 1542. So what happened in 1542? From some historical documents, in a very early morning, Jiajing was deeply sleeping. Sixteen imperial maids sneaked in and tied a rope around Jiajing's neck. Some maids attempted to strangle Jiajing. Some maids stabled Jiajing using their hairpins, and some of them just stood besides watching what happened. Because those maids were very nervous, they made an English knot, so Jiajing wasn't killed. In this situation, a maid called Zhang Jinlian crushed. She thought Jiajing was the emperor, the real dragon, who was protected by the gods. So, Jiajing couldn't be killed by normal people. Then she decided to inform the Empress Feng and hoped this can weigh a part of his crimes. Upon getting the news, the Empress Feng with a group of eunuchs and guards immediately came to Jiajing's bedroom and saved him. According to ancient Chinese culture, 1542 also was called the Ren Yin Year. So, this incident is called the Ren Yin Gong Bian, Pilot's Plot of Ren Yin Year. Because this was a dishonorable incident, there were not detailed records in the official historical documents. So, there are many mysteries in this incident. First, why those imperial maids wanted to kill Jia Jing? Here are two very known guesses. Jia Jing believed in Taoist and believed he could live forever through eating a special pill. This kind of pill was made from the menstrual blood of young virgins and other chemicals. So, lots of young girls were raised in the palace to pride menstrual blood, to make sure the blood was a purity. Those poor girls were not allowed to eat normal food. Two weeks before the period, they were fed only mulberry leaves and rain water. Because those girls didn't get enough nutrition, their period couldn't come. Then Jia Jing let those girls to take medicine to force the period come. Many girls died because their blood couldn't stop. When take this pill, Jia Jing must drink draw, so he required imperial maids to collect the draw from banana tree leaves every early morning, 
and many of maids fall ill and died. To get rid of this horrible life, the imperial maids decided to kill Jia Jing. Another guess is the accident was caused by a turtle. Jia Jing really loved auspicious animals. To please Jia Jing, one government officer gave him a five-colored turtle as gift. In ancient Chinese culture, turtle represents the longevity. Jia Jing required his imperial maids carefully took care of this auspicious turtle. Unfortunately, this turtle died. So those maids decided to kill Jia Jing to avoid punishment. Personally, I think the turtle was the critical reason. First, Jia Jing first time recruiting a large number of young girls happened in 1547, five years after Pilate's plot of Ren Yin Ye. Second, in ancient China, murdering the emperor definitely caused collective punishment, which means not only those maids, but also their family members could be killed. Highway laborers couldn't cause those 16 imperial maids died immediately and at the same time. So I don't think heavy laborers could cause 16 girls to decide to kill the emperor at the same time. In total version, it's totally different. Jia Jing really cared about longevity. He believed the death of the auspicious turtle was the curse and may kill all imperial maids immediately. So, in imperial maids' view, once Jia Jing found the turtle's dice, all of them would be killed immediately. If no one discovered they killed the emperor, they maybe can live. The second mystery is whether Jia Jing's consort Duan participated. In this incident, besides 16 imperial maids, Jia Jing's two imperial women, the imperial concubine Ning and the consort Duan, also were killed because they were considered as the leader of this plot. The imperial concubine Ning once was one of Jia Jing's favorite women. But after the consort Duan came into the Forbidden City, Concubine Ning gradually lost Jia Jing's favor. Now, we don't know what caused Jia Jing hated the consort Ning. We only know the consort Ning had to work as the normal imperial maid. She should collect the draw every morning. So she knew those imperial maids and had enough reasons to kill Jia Jing. In 1542, the consort Duan was Jia Jing's favorite consort. She gave birth to girls, one for Jia Jing. In 1542, the older princess was six years old, and the younger princess was three years old. Besides, Jia Jing also gave lots of benefits to consort Duan's original family members. What she could get from Jia Jing's death. So many people, including me, believed the consort Duan was falsely accused. When the Empress Fang arrived in Jia Jing's bedroom, she only arrested 16 imperial maids. Because at that time, Jia Jing still was insensible, the guilty of the concubine Ning 
and the consort Duan were found by the Empress Feng. The Empress Feng was Jia Jing's third empress. Jia Jing's first empress died after she miscarried. His second empress was demoted. The Empress Feng never gave birth a kid for Jia Jing. It's possible that Empress Feng worried. The consort Duan had a chance to replace her. So the Empress Feng took the chance to kill the consort Duan. Jia Jing awake the next day after attacking. He ordered 16 imperial maids and two imperial women to die by slow slicing. Later, Jia Jing fully recovered and started to doubt the consort Duan was falsely accused. Five years later, the Empress Feng passed away. In official historical document, the Empress Feng died because of sickness. But in many unofficial documents, the Empress Feng burned to death. In 1547, when a fire destroyed the Quinning Palace, the Empress Feng was trapped in the fire. Jia Jing refused to rescue the Empress Feng and said the Empress had saved him, but he couldn't save the Empress. The third mystery is where this incident happened. Some historical documents didn't mention where the incident happened. In some historical records, for example, the history of Ming, which is the official histor history of Ming, this incident happened in Consort Duan's residential palace, Wan An Palace. In some unofficial documents, the accident happened in Qianqing Palace. If this incident happened in Wan An Palace, even the consort Duan didn't intentionally participate. Under ancient inner court rules, it's reasonable that she was punished. But there are some here are some questions. Those imperial maids worked in Qianqing Palace. How did they pass the guards and get into the Wan An Palace? Second, when 16 maids were trying to kill Jia Jing, where was the consort Duan? Remember, the Empress Feng didn't see the consort Duan when she rescued Jia Jing. So I think that morning, Jia Jing lived in Qianqing Palace. The consort Duan had a possible side because of the battles among imperial women.